Dave Spitz. I am on the uh, airport leaving uh, beautiful Indianapolis, uh, stopping here in Denver. This workout obviously is uh, more geared towards Dusty. I'll have some good insight for you, but um, I would say that uh, the one thing that I would encourage you to do is make sure you mobilize well. Um, the quads, the core. If you own a compex unit, now's a good time to whip it out. That potentiation setting is going to be a powerful tool. Um, also, pre-workout, you might want to consider uh, a muscle buffer like beta alanine. Maybe eight grams or so of beta alanine prior to the workout might uh, calm down some of the acidity in the body. Um, and then, of course, uh, any co-contraction workout like a walking lunge, an overhead walking lunge, is a is a stabilization exercise, core stabilization. So make sure uh, you are bracing your spine and, and you're loading the the traps, or excuse me, the lats, and um, trying not to let that knee push forward past the ankle uh, as you as you execute the lunge. Good luck. Um, I can promise you I will not be doing this workout, but um, I'm happy that uh, we have CrossFitters that are fired up to, to participate. So um, hopefully I'll be able to add more value as the workouts get uh, more and more barbell related. Uh, best of luck to all you guys doing the workout and um, I appreciate you tuning in. Giving you my thoughts on 16.1, the first four the 2016 CrossFit Open. So what we've got here is a 20 minute ham wrap. It starts with overhead lunge, followed by eight bar facing burpees, followed by an overhead lunge. Again, the overhead lunge is 25 feet, followed by eight chest of bar pull-ups, and it's as many reps as possible in that time frame. Um, so we're going to break this down pretty quickly for you. Uh, Gotta, when you get into the gym, wherever you're doing it, you're going to want to come in and get a lengthy, good warm-up, general warm-up that should include um, a couple of rounds of a 500-meter row or something. Um, I, I'd recommend rowing, just getting the hips, the core, the body moving um, and getting your heart rate up a little bit, but taking a nice and easy pace to it. Add in some box step-ups, 24 to um, added some mountain climbers, if you don't know what those are, they'll come up. But really try to open up your hip flexors, get down, really kind of mobilize all your hips. But uh, really kind of get things opened up so that those overhead lunges are going to go well. You're going to do some lat activations, hand and over grip on the bar. And then uh, finish up with some hollow open bar taps. Do about three rounds, 500 meter row, move through those elements. Again, um, get a good general warm up. When you get to mobilizing, you probably already warm wanted if you haven't. Look up, take a look at that stuff. That's a great way to, to add in some pieces. But more specifically, you can get into mobility wand stuff. Um, talk to the active life, life is RX guys. Um, but do a hip opener stretch, or they call it the couch stretch. Um, maybe do some upper thoracic mobility uh, with a bar. Um, and really kind of. Warm up your shoulders and get them ready to be warm and good and stable. Maybe do some band work with the puppies as well. Um, equipment considerations for this this workout are very simple. A lot of them, right? Hand protection. You have a lot of pull-ups to do. So whether you're wearing leather grips or using some natural grips or taping your hands, you should definitely look to protect your hands for the next few hours. Four more workouts. It's a long process. Second, strength wraps or wrist wraps will help your stabilization overhead, okay, in the overhead uh, walking lunge. Also some knee sleeves, so when you're stepping in front of you, you're not walking your knee on the ground, you're not having any kind of silliness going on, and also help you let you move a little quicker through that movement going. Um, three strategies is what I would like to offer you guys an approach. If you're a beginner to CrossFit, if this is your first open, you can't do a chest of bar pull up or a you're going to want to keep a very, very low single rep approach or two rep approach to this movement and move quickly jumping up and down from on to a low bar and set up for you. Okay? Focus on unbroken lunge sets. Now if you're doing the scaled version, it's just the bar, okay? But still you want to move through that because time is, is your enemy in this workout. The longer that you stop and break, the more time you're losing, the less reps you're going to accomplish. Keep your heart rate low and really step up. And you gotta keep moving, moving on your birthday.
journeys that you have to keep moving. Um, for the, the intermediate crossfitter, we're really looking at what is your volume in chest of our pull-ups in a 20 minute time frame? Is it 60? Okay. Even then, we're going to probably want to break them up a little bit. Maybe 3-3-2. Three, three, or 4-4. Four, four, or just twos across the board. Keep your shoulders fresh so that you can overhead lunge. And again, it's a burpee race. You really want to maintain and try to get through that unbroken uh, walking lunge or the uh, like walking lunge and burpee after this. Finally, if you're an advanced crossfitter and you can do 100 chest of our pull-ups, we're going to look at unbroken sets, and then we start playing with time numbers, right? How fast can we get through a round, and what is sustainable? You want to stay just below your red line, you want to keep moving, and you want to try and get that 10 or round mark. And everything after that is, is, uh, is points in the bank, cash in the bank, and, you know, go get it. Can you hold two, two, two three-minute rounds, and how fast do you fall off? Again, it's a burby race. How efficient can you be? Finally, for the games, all the athlete, obviously we're going unbroken across the board. We're going to come out with a really aggressive pace. And what can you do on the backside of this workout? How much time is remaining once you've gotten through 10 rounds? And where does that leave you? Um, iron will is what's going to get it done on the backside of this workout. It's a suck fest. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. So, Rest, recover afterwards, make sure you're getting uh, your recovery. I'm sure most of you guys are well schooled in, in getting uh, what you need in your, in your shaker bottles and, and rolling out. But definitely, definitely get some, some mobilization, some, some cool down work, maybe hop on the air and spend about eight minutes on there. And then get into some raw walk, honestly. Yoga will set you free. And I hope to God you're not doing this workout too many times because 300 lunges over and over again this weekend is going to set you up for a really rough week too. Good luck, everybody.